you went five years, four, five years yeah. between that Breeders' Crown and you know when we were up in Woodbine. Uh, what was that five years like? Not getting a Breeders' Crown. Like well, the you, worst one was when I when I didn't make it to Woodbine. That was torture because in I had, eleven, in eleven, right. and yeah. I, I thought I had good lineup that year, and um, you know, foiled again, rock and roll dance, dropped the ball. Um, you know, I thought I I had a good chance to win yeah. one or two maybe. You know, so that one was devastating because um, you know, like you said, I had four years of you no know, yeah. dry spell there, and, and um, you no, know, finally I had some power going into mm -hmm. the race and not be able to make there. That was tough, but then. Um, then after that, they kind of like snowball after the next year. I, won, I think I won three. Yeah. And then, you know, it was, um, and it was great since then. Yeah, you had Maven in 2012 and, um, a, a, but you know, she was a three-year-old Philly Trotter and Rockin' Amadeus, two-year-old yeah. Cole Pacer and uh, to Dream On, two-year-old Philly Trotter. That was when you and Jimmy, you know, yeah. it was like, had you started to drive him like how long were you driving for Jimmy before that? A year or so, or is that kind of fresh? It was fresh, really. That year, um, I picked up Rock and Image, which is Rock and Amadeus's older brother, mm -hmm. uh, just around the um, uh, Madeline Pace, I think, or something like that. Just before that, then, and, and that's when I started driving for Jimmy a little bit more and more, and to dream on. Uh, David drove her at the beginning of the year, and then he had his own filly. So uh, then I picked up to dream on, and he just snowballed from there. You know, the relationship me and Jimmy picked up, and. Um, that was a good, great run there too. Yeah, and then uh, 13 you had three. That was like, you had three and then three. And now yeah. you're like, you've got a, you know, you had three in 2012, 2013. You, other than the awful weather. Yeah. Does that throw a monkey wrench? You're like, can we, can we just not have rain? Can we just have yeah. a nice night where the best horse are gonna win? And for the end was, I mean, that was, it's almost like, I guess, good because the images foiled again. It's like that was his race, his crowning achievement. You know, the, the, everything about it was gritty, dirty, yeah. mean, nasty, and that was him. Like as a racehorse, like that was just that. That's what if you were to describe yeah. him, he wasn't clean. He never looked good. He looks like a normal horse. Pocono. It's just that's that's kind of how you describe him. And a hundred percent. You know, it was that was definition. You you explained it just right. That's that's his definition of what he is. And uh, but an insight like. He wasn't the fastest, you know. So if it was yes. a fast track and they went forty-eight, maybe he wouldn't have won the race because the mud, none of that stuff bothered him. He's not gonna slow him down. Yeah. That's why, like, you know, middle of the winter is not slowing him down either. Yeah, I mean, he's you no, know, he only goes so fast, but uh, he can do it on any any track, any size track, any weather. So um, anyway, in inside the, the rain probably helped him. Yeah, the, yeah that's what I mean. It's yeah. just like he he likes to get dirty yeah. and gritty, and, and yeah. that was perfect. The grand finale, the open pacers in behind the gate for race 14, a field of nine lined up, and they're at the post. And the gate swings into the back stretch, and they're heading toward the start for the Breeders' Crown open pace. And they're off, and there goes Golden Receiver, who pokes ahead in front with his great gate speed. Pet Rock is sent out of there. So too Bolt the Doer, and these three are across the track, and they are flat out flying as they move on to the opening turn. Bolt the Doer from the far outside pokes ahead in front. Golden Receiver with the inside advantage stretches him out. Pet Rock backs in third. Now it's foiled again, settling at the rail fourth. Clear Vision is fifth behind him. Modern Legend sixth on the outside as they rip through the opening quarter in a blistering 25 and three. Further back, racing in seventh is Michael's power toward the inside. War We Needy is tipped to the outside for the cover flow, and Sweet Lou is at the back, and here comes Foiled again after Pet Rock, and Foiled again takes the lead. Pet Rock on the inside as they move on to the turn, and these two are battling. Foiled again yet to clear. Pet Rock on the inside, keeping him parked out, and now Foiled again does work to the front and works to the rail. Modern Legends left parked out there first over as they reach the half in 53 and four. Both the doors locked on the inside, and Wara We Needy looms the danger, perfectly positioned second over. Golden Receiver shuffled back, Clear Vision third over on the outside, fourth over and eighth is Michael's Power, and Sweet Lou is at the tail of the field where he is the trailer, and Foiled again leads the way. Modern Legend right there on the outside at his throat applying the pressure. Pet Rock is trying to shake free. Wara We Needy is second over. Three quarters on the board in one, 21 and four, and Wara We Needy is three wide right now. 
now, and Clear Vision follows him up on the outside. They come to the top of the stretch. Wara Winidi trying to launch his bid after foiled again. Pat Rock waiting for the passing lane. It's foiled again. Pat Rock charging up the rail. Modern Legend there. Foiled again. Dead game. Clear Vision late on the outside. Pat Rock on the inside. Photo finish. Foiled again, and Pat Rock together won 49 and 2. He also had Father Patrick there who. That was gonna be he's, he's gonna be your first uh, you know him and Maven your first back-to-back -back crown yeah. so like that's got to be nice where you're like hey we've got a horse that carries through all year and like I know he didn't win the Hamiltonian but again he was fantastic 95% yeah. of his races and Maven too like it's nice when you get that horse that you know is gonna come back and it's like hey this is a horse I got like I'm looking forward to another season with that. Oh yeah, absolutely. He, he was beautiful and like, um, he, but he, you know, he, and it was tough. Like he did, like you said, he did it for a long time. He was, you know, Peter Allen was a three, a two year old, and then he was still there at the end of a three year old season. You know, he was just, uh, he could, he could do, he could get the job done. That's for sure. Father Patrick is on top early on here today. The lead about a length. Jingra slowing things down now with no outside pressure just yet. Credit Fashion has the pocket trip there for Sears, followed by Nuncio on the outside muscle network trying to make something happen first over into that clubhouse turn. Southwind Spirit staying at the pylons fifth, followed by Auspicious Hanover, then another transcript. Expressive Action is now off stride and Don Dorado too far back today. The half 57 even, 30 and one second panel a crawl there through the front stretch and father patrick with plenty left in the tank now kicks away by about a length and a quarter credit fashion is still the biggest threat in the pocket on the outside muscle network continues to advance and now comes to within a length of the lead south wind spirit follows the cover kakali has him just two away second over nuncio is on the inside but buried at the moment further back another transcript and auspicious handover three quarters one 26 even 29 even third panel still not too taxing here. Jingra taking a look. Father Patrick still with the lead outside. Muscle Network flattening out. Southwind Spirit up three wide. Credit Fashion still in the pocket. Top of the stretch and now just gentle urging here and Father Patrick steps away. Credit Fashion is all out from the pocket trying to gain but it was too soft in the middle half there and Father Patrick going to coast home a champion here winning the two-year-old Colts and Geldings trot without breaking a sweat. One of the, I, I actually want to watch this race because I think it's, uh, and I want to know your opinion. Again, I want to, it's kind of a masterclass stroke to me, um, would be, say it all BB. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. okay. So you, yeah. you get a little smile. What is it? You're like, I, why do you get that little smile on, on your face when I say, say it all BB? Because she made the final by a whisker in the elimination. Okay. Now, I thought she had a little bit of a chance. Um, any elimination and it just didn't work out that it, she, she might have shut off to like uh, the trip didn't work out but then yeah I, I do I think a lot of guys maybe wouldn't have put her in that spot in the final okay. I, but I still believed in the Philly and uh, but that's a race again I crossed right over yeah was able to go real slow fraction yeah let's and, and, then, and let's uh, watch it like because yeah. because I think this was again one I, I watched pretty much every Breeders crown um, that you have raced in and, and this was one that really stuck out to me like Oh, Yannick did his job there. That yeah. was fantastic here. Yeah. So you've got post nine, um, and like you said, she barely made the limb. Yeah. You get post nine, you're like, okay, I guess, you know, and there's gonna be plenty of horses, this, every Breeders' Crown, that yeah. barely make the limb, they get post eight, nine, 10, and they're just like, well, what do we do? Yeah. So you were like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna win this thing. Well, I didn't know about we're gonna win, but then, um, but I was gonna put her in play. Yeah, you know you're, what I mean? Like, okay. I was not gonna just take her straight to last or whatever, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I was like, you know, we got post nine, but, you know that's who I am. Like I'm still aggressive, and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it in the race. And uh, you know when the get, when the gate open up is a little bit like same thing as Scott and Serena. You're like, you know, where's everybody at? Yeah, so. and, and and again post nine. So with that horse made a break, do you see when a horse does that? Do you yeah. automatically know, hey, we got one less. Yeah, Boom, I, we I got one less. One made a break. Yeah. And Meadowlands at least gives you that. It's not um, it's not as far as Woodbine, but you have a little bit to get out before the turn. Yeah. So even post nine isn't a total hindrance. You loop around everybody here. Yeah, yeah. She she had good gate speed and, and uh, you know she, I knew she could um, you know she could probably clear or get you know get in position anyway. And then uh, but like right there in the first turn, I was like, man, this is gonna work out pretty good. You know, I mean, like uh, I was happy where I got away and 
Um, I thought I had the right horses, like um, the favorites were far enough back where I didn't think they could quarter move on me. So like the one that maybe could have come back was Brian, but other than that, I figured nobody else would be coming. So I, at worst, I would get away in the tool. Right. You know I, mean? I kind of knew I had them stacked back there. And 27 and two, it's not overly aggressive. You yeah. feel pretty good right here. And I love that you like, again, nobody's coming. You're trying to make somebody come, nobody yeah. comes. And you were able to get a nice soft half here. Well, you no, know, coming out the first one, I kind of, you no, know, like Brian wasn't edging out behind me. I knew nobody was coming. Yep. You know what I mean? So that's when I, I, I wasn't, uh, no, I didn't slow it down enough where to get people in trouble, where they'd be like, you know, really struggling. I kind of moved it along a little, but uh, but I definitely like saved some, you know what I mean? Yeah. We were under rating, you no, know, rated. And, it is that, like you said, that balance of, I don't want to slow it down so much that somebody comes, yeah. but I want to, go fast enough to where everybody's yeah. comfortable because yeah. you don't want to stack the guys up behind you because yeah. you don't want guys uncomfortable because yeah. that's when they pull in. Yeah. And, yeah. and you look, you're looking back and again, nobody's coming and you're three quarters and one, I'm going to pause it, three quarters, one, 24 and one, a back to back 28 and two, 28 yeah. and two, 28 and two, and nobody's coming. Yeah. And you're, you know, it doesn't seem like you're panicking here and you're not trying to sprint away from everybody. You're still kind of you got her nice in hand. Yeah, but then right around there where you pause it, that's now that's when we're gonna head on. You yeah. know, now we're going, you know what I mean? Because I figure, you know, maybe Brian can beat me, but I, you know, I figure the backfield is gonna have to go really hard here to get to me, you know? So like top of the stretch, like we're, we're going. Top we're of rock. the stretch, r yeah. rock on. Yeah. yeah. And you, yeah, you're, you're, you're getting on her right now and it's like, let's roll. Yeah. But you know, but she responded, you know, she was good that day, you know what I mean? Like in, but, um, but I, I thought I was a Philly. They paid, they supplemented her into that race too. They did, okay. So she, no, they believed the Philly could get it done, and I believe in her. Just like the elimination was more like a, a blimp on the road, more than than really what uh, what she was about. You know, and she was, you know, she was better than the elimination was. It just you know didn't work out that for that race. Twenty six and two home. I yeah. mean, you go 27, 28, 28, and then twenty six and two. Like yeah. to me, that is. If you're gonna drop a race, a blueprint, that's probably exactly how you'd want it. Want yeah, to draw it right. yeah, that one worked out. Yeah, they, unfortunately, I wish there was more that worked we, out like we, that, but yeah. uh, you know, that one did.